Warning. If the topic of psychological manipulation and emotional enslavement of women offends you, I want you to stop watching this video. And if you want to continue, you must agree never to use this knowledge to hurt women. Deal? Great. Let's start. Make no mistake. The word manipulation does come with strong negative connotations. However, it's important to rethink what manipulation really means in real life. Here's the truth. Everybody manipulates. And I do mean everybody. Women put on makeup and high heels. Men put on their best shirt and tie while showing only their good side to win a job interview. And you know what? Children are the biggest manipulators of all. When they don't get what they want, what do they do? They cry and scream until their parents surrender and give them what they want. So you can say that manipulation is in our genes. It has to be, right? You see, the two strongest drives in human beings are survival and replication. And humans are hardwired to manipulate as much as is necessary to survive and replicate. Makes perfect sense, right? And guess what? You can and should manipulate your way to love. However, let me ask you this. Does that thought make you uncomfortable? If it does, then you shouldn't. Think about this. You're using manipulation to make her feel loved and build a great life together. So the ends justify the means, right? Now that you agree with me, let's discover some of the psychological manipulation tactics you can use on women. Before we start though, could you do me a huge favor? Could you help me by clicking like? Because that will encourage me to make more of these videos for you. Click like now because I will wait here. Done clicking like? Thank you. Let's continue. What I am going to share with you are three psychological manipulation tactics I learned from Shogun Method. You'll find out more about Shogun Method later, but for now, understand this. Shogun Method is the only dating advice program in the world which is based on psychological and emotional manipulation. This means it is entirely different from pickup artist or dating guru programs that you find elsewhere. After all, Shogun Method is about enslavement, not seduction. Here's an emotional manipulation technique which is culled from Shogun Method and it's called the prophecy. Master salesmen, after making an offer, often say this, but you are free to decide, of course. This line manipulates the prospect to think that she's in full control of the choice that she'll be making. In short, the prospect thinks she came to the conclusion herself and not through being strong-armed by a salesperson. Heard of the term illusion of control? Well, that's what this is exactly. Tell your woman she is free to pursue other romantic options, but here's what you need to do also. Predict unhappiness in her future. The idea is to convince her that if she pursues other options, she will be worse off. In negotiation, this is called a BATNA, the best alternative to a negotiated agreement, or in layman terms, other options. In other words, you want to convince her that her BATNA is worse than staying with you. How do you do this then? Easy, by pointing out what she will lose if she leaves you. Tell her that other guys will pump and dump her. Exaggerate the worst case scenario and make it vivid. To summarize, here are the two steps in Shogun Method's prophecy tactic. 1. Say you are free to decide after presenting her an offer. And 2. Predict a negative future for her if she leaves. Easy, right? Now let's move on to the second psychological manipulation tactic. Negative shared experiences. Known as NSE inside Shogun Method, it's also one of the most powerful emotional manipulation tactics you can use. So use it responsibly, alright? To understand why it works so well, you've got to know this basic principle of human psychology. Human beings bond through shared experiences. In fact, suffering hardships together when pursuing a common goal strengthens human bonds tremendously. Examples. Wars. Sports teams. Team obstacle races. These unite people more effectively than work retreats at exotic resorts and movie outings. So how do you use this to manipulate a woman into falling for you? Simple really. You just need to orchestrate some shared experiences for you and your woman. 
Mix up positive and negative experiences. Take her on a roller coaster of emotions. Keep boredom away by making life exciting for you as a couple. And here's the kicker. Negative experiences work better. For example, take her to a new part of town and get lost on purpose. Go camping together and purposefully forget essential equipment and so you're stuck with her with nothing but a shared poncho. Or if you've got the balls to do it, fake a breakup. Then deal with the situation and save the day. You'll be her hero and you will have bonded her to you like a newborn to its mother. Sounds crazy? Yes. Is this effective? Sure hell it is. This brings us to the third emotional manipulation technique that you're going to learn today. Before we go into that, let me share with you a story. Many years ago, there was a hypnotherapist in London who noticed a strange phenomenon happening to his clients. He realized that there's a quick shortcut to getting someone into hypnotic state quickly, and it's this. Keep taking her in and out of trance repeatedly. Whenever she falls back into trance, it will be deeper than before. And when done a couple of times, she will be completely hypnotized before she knows it. This phenomenon is now known as fractionation. And guess what? This technique works as well on women to make her fall deeper and deeper in love. Some say that fractionation is manipulative and evil. Well, that's somewhat true to a certain extent. However, when used correctly, fractionation will do this for you. While the majority of relationships wane, her attachment to you will keep increasing as the years go on. As other couples drift apart, her love for you will deepen the longer you are together. You know, just like a person under hypnosis. Sounds great, right? I've got to warn you though. Fractionation is a huge subject that I can't fully explain here because this video is ending soon. It definitely isn't some routine or pickup line you can learn in two minutes. Here's some good news, however. The founder of Shogun Method, Derek Rake, teaches a free online masterclass on fractionation for those who want to know more about fractionation and mind control. All you need to do is to watch this video up until the end and click on the link that comes up. You'll be taken to another page where you enter your email to enroll in the online masterclass. Easy, right? By now, you should see a link appearing inside this video. Click it now.